it's that time of year, you guys. Time to start making warmer meals now that it's fall and then soon winter. I miss summer already, but at least we've got crock pot meals, you know? Woo! Crock potting, we're crock potting, crock pot, grab your crocks, grab your pot. Time to make some crock pot meals with Lily. And for moms or busy workers, I think that crock pot meals are some of the fastest, easiest meals to make. You just throw the meat in the pot, go about your day, come home, and dinner's ready. Plus, crock pot meals make a lot of food. So if you have a family, these meals can feed everyone. Or if you're a single person or a couple, these meals can last multiple days, take them to work, have them again for dinner, enjoy when you want to enjoy the crock pot meal again. Okay, let's go. Number one, bison brisket. Or it can be a beef brisket, but when I made this, I used bison. It was pretty big, so I cut it up into smaller pieces, seared the outside in a cast iron pan with a little bacon grease, but you can use butter, ghee, tallow, duck fat, just a little bit of any kind of fat. Then I added eight ounces of water. Meat has water in it, so as the meat continues to cook, water and rendered fat are released from it, which is why you just have to add a little bit of water to the pot. And by the time the meat is done cooking, there is significantly more water in the pot than what you put in. For my brisket, I left the crock pot on high for two hours and then on low for seven hours and that's it. Something to note about these crock pot meals is if someone has a harder time digesting rendered fat or if someone has lower stomach acid, these meals can be harder to digest. I'm someone who can't digest a ton of rendered fat, which is what all of that leftover broth is. I mean, a lot of rendered fat is in that broth. And so for myself, I don't usually drink a lot of that or put it in my bowl. The broth does have a ton of vitamins and minerals, glycine, collagen. So if it works for you, I would save it, mix it with other meals, pour it on my ground beef bowl, I just don't digest a ton of rendered fat very well. So I can have a little bit, but I can't have a whole soupy broth situation. And if someone has lower stomach acid, they may just wanna consider taking HCL or ox bile when eating these meals. Okay, number two, asabuku. Same process, I sear the outside real quick. I used butter in the pan this time, but any fat works. The quick sear on the outside just seals in more of the flavor. Then I use six ounces of water and leave it in the crock pot on low for eight hours. What I love most about asabuku is the bone marrow. Please don't throw this away. If you don't want it, you can send it to me in the mail, but bone marrow is like a prized possession in this house. Bone marrow is filled with tons of vitamins and minerals, healthy fats, collagen, glycine. It is the bee's knees and it's delicious. Bone marrow has a similar taste and texture as butter, but better. And now that's saying a lot because I love butter. Next crock pot option is a whole chicken. I've seen whole chickens for sale as low as $1.99 a pound. And I know with a lot of these meals, you can find really good deals. I've seen beef brisket at Costco for $4.29 a pound, chuck roast for $4.99 a pound. So I really do think that crock pot meals are a win, 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 win. Easy, fast, delicious, nutritious, and affordable. Now with the whole chicken, I've had a small one pound chicken and I've had a larger five pound chicken. So the cook time can vary depending on chicken size. But for a five pound chicken, I left it in the crock pot on low for nine hours and the chicken just fell right off the bone. One of my favorite crock pot meals is the classic chuck roast. Again, I sear the outside in the cast iron and then I put it in the crock pot on low heat for nine hours. Now with all of these meals, some people like to have more flavor, so they will add celery, carrots, onions, garlic, and if veggies work for you, great. I do have some clients who like to cook with the onion and garlic in their crock pot dish, but then they don't actually eat them. So that's an option. 
or there's seasonings. For example, I added flux seasoning to my chuck roast when I made it. Most of the time I don't add seasonings to my crock pot meals because I find the meat still comes out very flavorful and delicious without it. But if veggies and seasonings are your thing, do your thing. Another crock pot option are short ribs. I've made both elk and venison short ribs in the crock pot, but I know there are beef short ribs as an option as well. When I make elk or venison, I sear the outsides real quickly, just 45, 60 seconds on each side, completely cover them in water and keep on low for five to six hours, depending on how many short ribs you have. And the last crock pot meal is chicken feet bone broth. I take the chicken feet, wash them with cold water, dry them off with a paper towel, throw them in the crock pot and completely cover them in water. If you can tolerate apple cider vinegar, then throw the feet in for 30 to 60 minutes on high with a little apple cider vinegar and the acidity helps pull out more of the nutrition from the bones. But if not, I've actually always skipped this part and went straight to keeping the feet in the pot on low for 24 hours. After 24 hours, separate the bones and strain with a cheesecloth. Turn the jars upside down for five minutes to kill off bacteria and increase the shelf life. And then just throw it in the fridge or it can be stored in the freezer for up to six months. I used to take this broth and then add it to my beef bowls to add more nutrition. Some people may have issues with the longer cooked bone broths, in which case I would not have many of the meats with bones in them and I'd stick to more of the meat broths because they don't have the same production of histamines. I'm not sure if I actually have a histamine problem, but I did test out having chicken feet bone broth for about two months. And the longer I continued to eat it, the more my feet became very, very dry and eventually started peeling like crazy. So even though bone broth is super nutritious, it has lots of vitamins and minerals, I don't actually eat bone broth. And then something else to consider too, is that many of these meals are pretty lean. So usually when I eat them, I will add more butter, ghee, maybe bacon, cheese, carnivore crisp, chicken skins, or any other sources of fat just to help with the ratios a little more since these meals, some of them like the chicken tend to be more lean. So I just make sure to add more fat. I hope you guys got value out of this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. There's discounts in the description and recipes on my website. I hope you guys have a happy rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.